Today we're making 15 bean chili. I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today we're making a super, super easy chili using ingredients that we've made before, some a long time ago. And if you don't have the exact ingredients, you can change it up, but it is so simple and it is so good. I do it in a slow cooker simply because, well, I don't have to really take care of it. All I did was take two cups of our 15 bean soup mix, click the I right up there and it will take you to that 15 bean soup mix day. Then I have two pounds of ground beef that I have browned. Now if you don't want to use ground beef, you want to use ground turkey, ground whatever, it doesn't matter. You can, Or you can just leave it out. Just remember you want it to be two cups, you want it to be browned, you want the grease to be drained off. I have heard people like rinsing their beef, but eh, I did not do that. Now the next thing. One cup of salsa, your favorite kind of salsa, oh, I'm sorry, it's two cups of salsa. One teaspoon, and this is up to you, one teaspoon to one tablespoon of chili powder. Now the fun part, we've made this before. Bloody Mary mix. Yes, that's right, Bloody Mary mix. I am putting in, this is about, let me look at the can, let me look at this thing to be certain. It's going to be eight cups of Bloody Mary mix. Then I'm going to take, this is uh, 12 ounces of just simple tomato paste. Now I will give this a simple stir. It smells really good already. Then put the lid on it. I would put this on, it, depending upon how much time I have, put it on low, put it on medium. Just depends how much time you have and then just let it go. The cool part about this is the beans are soaked so that they will not have, you know, they're not going to absorb all the liquid. You will have a great chili and it is so tasty and so good and so fast. So let's let this cook and we will come back. Our chili is done and it looks amazing. I'm going to put it into a bowl. You can smell it. It smells so good. Let me give it a taste. I honestly have to say just wow. The um, sauce, the liquid is very, very thick in this. It is rich. It has this amazing taste and texture. It is so good. I mean, this chili is unbelievable. The beans in it, if you don't use the 15 bean mix that we made, you can use a different kind of bean mix. You can use whatever kind of meat beans that you want to use. But the Bloody Mary mix and then the salsa and the tomato paste just made it over the top. It is so rich and so good, I would recommend this to every single person. Even if you're not a chili lover, you will like this chili simply because it just tastes wonderful. I've never tasted anything that, that was that rich and that good. I would highly recommend this. If you do make this, let me know because I really want to hear from you about this one. Love this. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. Every Tuesday is a recipe, and like I always say, why buy it when you can make it?